Hi everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss, and today it's Sunday, 17th December. Um, starting my day off with a really nice citrus juice. Bam! It's my favorite way to start the day. Citrus, straight up energy, lots of calories, lots of carbohydrates. Cleansing, high water, like, what else do I have to say? Citrus juice. That's a great way to start your day. Uh, you want to start your day with high water content foods or juice, you know. Um, I guess hot herbal tea um, would be a good alternative too, no caffeine. Um, I'd recommend something like burdock or uh, sarsaparilla root, something like that. Um, those are really energizing uh start the day off with. And um yeah, if you can't do juice, um you could do like some water with some key limes or some lemon water, something like that to infuse the water, make it alive, you know, give you some energy in the morning. Or you can just have like a melon or eat a mango or eat a persimmon. Mm. That's like pretty much all I've been eating nowadays is persimmons. But I wanted to talk to you guys today uh, because I've been struggling uh, over the past few months with an addiction. You know, I've been um, dabbing, as they call it, dabbing. Um, so I've been vaporizing uh, THC, CBD concentrate at uh, low temperatures, you know, 670 degrees. That's a low temperature for uh, dabbing, again. And um, it's kind of weird talking about this. I, I don't usually talk about this stuff on my channel, but um, I feel like it's important for me to address this because something I've been struggling with for... Um, you know, over eight years is when I started first using weed, and um, just earlier this year, um, I think in June or July, around my birthday, I quit smoking weed, and um, I I converted over to vaping uh, the dabs, which I felt was more um, healthy, healthy, it's, it's not healthy, it's just not as bad as smoking because the thing about smoking is like you're in you know you, you light a butane lighter and um that burns at like over a thousand degrees like 1200 degrees or something maybe even like upwards of 1500 and when you're like lighting a plant on fire and inhaling that at those high temperatures is super bad for your lungs super bad and um, not to mention all the negative side effects that come with smoking weed even vaporizing I mean you're still gonna get some negative side effects you know we're not supposed to be inhaling these foreign substances in my opinion um, the marijuana flower should be used as a food or in like a juice something like that you know it's it's not meant to be cooked it's not meant to be heated um, when people smoke marijuana they they don't even taste the plant like they taste it a little bit and they're like oh I kind of like the taste of marijuana no you don't you ever eat a marijuana bud straight up probably not gonna be very good it's not you know it's not like it's not a fruit you know and um, another thing is you have to you have to kill the plant you know it's it's a vegetative plant you have to kill it in order to take the buds from it like once you take the buds it's not gonna keep making buds whatever there might be a certain method for that I'm not sure but you know it's not good for the environment to keep pulling up these plants and you know, it's it's just not something that I want to do anymore. So anyways, this is day four of uh, no dabs and of quit. 
yeah, I feel amazing. I feel so much clarity and um, my mood's enhanced incredibly. I feel like um, that when you're smoking a lot of marijuana, that your crown chakra is super open. And um, when that happens, you kind of get lost in the ether. Um, that's why people who smoke a lot of weed, their their thoughts are really out there. They're like, you know, on some whatever, you know, thinking of weird and wild stuff. And it puts you in this weird headspace and it lacks grounding. So I just wanted to make this video, talk to you guys about this. Uh, come clean a little bit because I haven't, I haven't talked to my subscribers about this. I haven't really talked to my fan base. So. Mm. And everything tastes so much better. And weed is absolutely mucus causing. Even if you vaporize it, you can tell there's mucus in your throat. There's mucus in your lungs. You know, it's an expectorant, so it's going to pull out some of that, but it leaves a lot of residue, and from what I understand, if you smoke weed or vaporize it or whatever, it removes some of the life force energy um, from your spinal fluid, also known as melanin. It's like a controversial word these days. No, not the... Yes, melanin, the stuff that makes your skin pigment and stuff like that. But it does a lot more than that. It's a big, um, like, uh, it's a main molecule, like, in your brain, you know. It, it has a huge function in the body. So it's more than just your skin pigment. Um, all these things that cause melanin degeneration, you know, GMOs, any form of smoke... Um, so much, so much stuff. Not good. Okay, so don't smoke weed. You know, I'm not, I'm not hating on people that do. I just want to inform you on what the facts are. You don't require it. You don't need to be spending $100 a week, um, like I was, $100 a week on something that doesn't do anything for you. And then as soon as you get your body used to that, you have to have more and more and more. And it, it literally, like, is causing more harm than good. People think they're in this good space when they're high, but it really takes you to a low space. It's more of a low than a high. If you want to be high, you want to get on these raw foods, the raw juices. A juice a day keeps the doctor away. That's what I say. Three juices a day, the doctor doesn't mess with you. The doctor will not mess with you at all. I haven't I don't even remember the last time I went to the doctor. I got I got like some blood tests. Uh, like when I first went raw like over a year and a half ago. And everything was fine, so I never went back. I don't really so you need to, uh, don't go to the dentist, you know? I'm my own dentist. I'm my own dentist. Floss, twice a day. Brush, two to four times a day, depending on how many meals I have, you know? You want to brush after your meals. Not like right after, but, you know? And if you eat raw foods, your saliva is going to be super alkaline. You know, I haven't had any problems. And if I do, I'll go to a holistic dentist or something. I'll find something like that. I'm not, or I'll do it myself. You know, these are not things that we need. We don't need these institutions. We don't need these, these entities to, you know, sustain our health. We are our own doctors. We are our own gurus and... I'm telling you here, you guys, get on the fruits, get on the fruits. The fruits have the calories, the fruits have the energy. Vegetables are good for grounding and healing, but they're not as 
calorically uh, satisfying. They're not as energizing or sustaining and um, cleansing. You know, they're cleansing, but they're not going to pull. They're not like very astringent like fruits are, you know. So, yeah. I think that's about it for this video, you guys. I'm going to finish up my juice here. And, yeah. My noble serpentine. I love this thing so much. It's supposed to help raise the kundalini energy. Um, the green is is symbolic of the, the heart chakra. And then the secondary is the crown chakra. So it's very cool. Helps raise the kundalini energy up. And um, what happens is once the kundalini energy goes to the crown chakra, it recycles back, back down and forward again. And that's what the Ankh symbol represents in uh, Egypt, uh, Egyptian mythology. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am feeling amazing, uh, sober. And I just wanted to get this off my chest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to eat raw and stay blissful. Peace out, everybody. I love you.